Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, fellow classmates. Um, I just want to say before I start my uh, formal written speech, um, so my sister Kate was a, a graduate of the 2010 class, and um, all the time she would uh, rub it in my face that her class was a state championship class because of uh, the girls' basketball team. So I'd just like to personally thank and congratulate the softball team because uh, I got you, Katie. <laughs> Now, uh, for the speech, I thought there'd be no, uh, nothing more appropriate than um, to share 12 things that I learned over 12 years here at Avel Park. So, um, number one was uh, in first grade, it was uh, always listen to your teacher. I went to Posting Hill Elementary School, and uh, Mrs. Cronin was my teacher. And uh, being a rambunctious six-year-old, I wouldn't always listen to the directions given. This caused me to be confused, leaving me with no idea what was happening, and that's exactly how trig slash algebra two went uh, last year. But um. <laughs> Eventually, I started paying more attention and listening to what Mrs. Cronin had to say. And it was then when I learned that teachers don't want to just cause you confusion, but they actually want to teach. And uh, I realized that they're always there for you and they only want you to succeed. So today, when you grab your diploma, remember and thank all the teachers who helped you get here. In second grade, I learned how to take responsibility. Uh, in Mrs. Halls and Bush's class, there was an area called Australia, and you were supposed to go there to talk about your feelings with another classmate. Now, when I was seven years old, anything I did wrong was never my own fault. I'd always blame somebody else so I wouldn't get in trouble. It was in this magical land of Australia where the teacher sat me down and told me, I can't blame others for my own mistakes and I just have to accept it. Now, at the time, it was hard for, hard for me to understand, but looking back on it, it's one of the most important lessons I've ever learned. You have to be able to own up to yourself and take responsibility for your actions, even when you're not so proud of yourself for taking the last cookie and then blaming Keith. Oh, sorry, Keith. Um, third grade taught me how to multiply. And to be honest, there's no important lesson for this. It's just a really good lesson, multiplication. It comes in handy a lot. So I'd just like to thank Mrs. Yeshka for teaching me how to multiply. Uh, the fourth thing I learned was in fourth grade, when I had my first crush. Now, never confess your feelings over AIM instant messaging, because <laughs> gym class the next day will be extremely awkward. Just because you and that special someone swing on the swings and talk about the fairly odd parents, you're not soulmates. <laughs> uh, fifth grade taught me to never settle for anything less than what you think you deserve. Now, I was in a Cub Scouts meeting, and we just got a play we were going to perform about Christmas and Hanukkah. After I saw it, I only had one line in the entire play, and it was just one word, the word both. I went on strike and hid under the desk, refusing to speak until I was written more lines. Well, yes, this was being a total diva, I got more lines. This taught me to fight for what you believe in, even if it's just a couple more sentences describing the difference between Christmas, Hanukkah, and even Kwanzaa. Now, the first year of middle school taught me a very important lesson about friendship. While you may lose some people who were once your best friends, you're always going to be meeting new people and making new friendships. There's seven billion people in the world, so don't worry, you're always going to have a friend no matter what. Now, uh, I'm at seventh grade, and um, seventh grade was my most uh, awkward year. Um, and, uh, but it did not stop me from being who I am. The seventh grade taught me that you can't be anybody but yourself. And so don't be what anybody wants you to be. Be what you want you to be. No voice is important as your own. And uh, always remember that. Eighth grade taught me something I wouldn't even realize until a very tragic event occurred. Uh, that year I had Mrs. Hardy for English. And uh, she helped me in a way no other teacher had previously. She uh, helped me become a better writer. And she taught me that reading can be more than just a boring classroom assignment. Um, she's a teacher I'll never truly, I'll, she's a teacher I will never forget and will always be remembered by me. I'm sure all of her students can say the same thing about her. A ninth grade was my first year in high school, and this was a big step. Finally, the, the headliner of April Park. Uh, this year I started taking classes and joining clubs that interested me more as an individual. This connected with what I learned in seventh grade and taught me to not only be yourself, but to follow your dreams. And don't waste any, don't waste your time doing things that don't interest you. Just do what you love and happiness will follow. And the tenth thing I learned was that as the, works get, as the work gets harder, you just have no other option but to buckle down and get it over with. There are going to be moments of struggle, but you just have to overcome it, strong and with full force. Eventually you'll pass the struggle and succeed, and you will get an A on that French final. I made you proud, Mr. Brown. Eleventh <laughs> grade, which is junior year, taught me that the future cannot come soon enough. It taught me I can't wait for high school to finally be over with. I just want to go to college and move on already. 
But then I got to this year, uh, senior year, and the twelfth thing I learned was that I was wrong last year. The future can wait, because now that college is just a few short months away, it can wait. Senior year taught me to appreciate the little things and the people around me, friends or not. Because down the road, some of us might not ever see each other again after today. And whether you like that or not, it is weird to come to, to, come to terms with. After seeing all of you every day, we're about to be thrown in a whole new environment in the next chapter of our lives. 12th grade taught me that I genuinely will miss April Park and all of my days here. But as this chapter inevitably comes to a close, there's nothing we can do but just appreciate it and look forward to the future. So um, good luck to all of my fellow graduating class and I'll see you at the 20 year reunion.